getting your insurance sorted. What else have we got? Um, EQC. EQC, yeah. Correct, yeah. correct. Yeah. And with a deadline, <laughs> Mm -hmm. um, there can be potentially multiple offers from mm -hmm. other people as well. Mm -hmm. um, with an auction or deadline, you can be bidding against multiple buyers mm -hmm. or you might be the only one doing writing up the offer or bidding at auction. So let's assume it's a multiple offer. In a multiple offer situation, what you need to do is, as your agent who you're going to be dealing with, hopefully we explain to you that you need to put your best offer first because usually, uh, in our case, we don't do going back and forwards. You you put your offer down and put your best offer. We don't usually go back and forwards um, okay. negotiating. Only if obviously the offer is not good enough for our vendors, if that's not to the expectation, then your agent would explain to the you, you need to be the highest offer to be able to get the right to negotiate um, with the vendor. And. So would you know if there are other people putting in offers or not? Yeah, you should know. You should know You should know how many offers you have. You won't have the number. You obviously wouldn't no, be fear no. <laughs> to know what they're offering, but yes. you should know, they should let you know how many people are offering on a property um, and when are the offers being presented. Sure. Mm -hmm. So when you see a deadline sale date <laughs> on a property that's advertised, mm -hmm. um, we also, you often see written, same with an auction as well, unless sold prior. Yeah. So dates can be brought forward for both. Correct. If an offer gets presented to a vendor prior to the deadline date, or an auction date, mm -hmm. that's acceptable to the owners, then they can bring the auction or deadline forward. But what I want to suggest I would do is if you're going through a property and you like the home and you don't want to miss out, you must tell the agent that, hey, I'm interested because legally and morally they've got to get back to you if they get an offer before the scheduled deadline or an auction. Great. Mm. So what therefore would be the benefits of an auction versus deadline sale or the other way around? What yeah. would be the benefits of each? That's a really good question. Um, for the vendors, from the vendor's point of view, um, I don't think these every house should be auctioned and I don't think every house should be deadline. If you get that recommendation that every house should be auctioned, that is not the right thing. A first home property, we would not recommend deadline. Okay. Now let me explain to you why. The goal is when you're marketing a home or marketing anything, um, is you need to open this the, 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 the market up to as many buyers as you possibly can, right? Okay. And with an auction, if it's a first home property, nine out of 10 buyers, probably, probably 10 out of 10 of them, first home buyers can't go to auction. And if that's the case, then how can you maximize the value of the property? Because nine out of 10 buyers, they won't come to auction for full stop. Okay. So our goal as your agent to maximize the value of the property. And how we're gonna maximize the value of the property is to cast the net as far and as wide we po as we possibly can. So because your first home buyers don't necessarily have that capital behind them to be able to go and bid at an auction. Exactly. So with, for example, a mid-range home, when would you suggest a, an auction or a deadline? Yeah. If it's second home or third home, yeah. my recommendation would be is just look at a home, the owner situation and recommend what's best for them. Sure. If you're selling a, a home which has got a whole lot of those similar kind of homes on the market or being sold in the area, you know, let's assume a, pro a home in Longhurst, somewhere up to 650000 and there's plenty of homes like it on the market or being sold in the area. That would be, in my opinion, a deadline property. Okay. I would deadline a property. We, if it was a unique home like what we had sold down High Peak Place, it had a swimming pool in Broken Run, mm -hmm. and a swimming pool was 265 square meters, um, backed onto a reserve, so there was nothing like it in the area. We auctioned that property, we had like people fighting over it. Sure. So, so the goal is when you're auctioning a property is make sure um, it's kind of property that people can fall in love with it. It's more of an emotional property than just a cluster of houses. And, 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 and I, I give recommendation to agents now is don't just auction a property because that is what you've been told. Do your research because if an auctioneer is telling you to auction every single house, sure. of course he's going to tell you to go and auction every single property because that's how he gets paid. 
Like it's a bit similar to what I tell people is like walking through into a Honda dealership and ask them what kind of car, what brand car you should what buy. What should I buy? Should right? I buy a, yeah. A Toyota or should I buy a Porsche, right? Yeah. They said, no, you buy a Honda. Honda. That's exactly how it is. So for agents, they need to do their own research. They need to see a home for, them, for themselves. They need to talk to the owners and see what their situation, how they feel about it and what's the best for them. Absolutely. So it's really a case by case basis, isn't it? Yeah, and absolutely. it's when you're talking with the vendors, right from the start of the process, what's going to be best for them, best for their property yeah. to get the best possible outcome. Exactly.